Hello and welcome back for the fourth and already final episode of this campaign of Blanket Fort. My name is A as always and I am your DM for this Avatar Legends campaign. Friends, for the final time, would someone please give us a recap of last session? Oh, last session? We were making our way towards the uh, Northern Water Tribe uh, through the blockades um, and we had the brilliant plan of hiding three of the people, three out of four people in the boat, under the boat, uh, and make me look like just a crazy little tourist that wanted to visit the Northern Water Tribe for no reason. Um, we've got stopped by uh, the Earth Kingdom um, soldiers, I suppose they were. Um, brought up on board the ship where um, I was taken up towards the captain's control center I think we landed on <laughs> um, because we all know boats and we could have all looked between last episode and this episode but I did not so uh, <laughs> uh, boats quarters ship steering wheel place um, where we met the very buff very tall um, captain um, I, I think there was a different term that we used not captain um, General. General, yes, uh, who questioned my intent and who I was, and questioned if I had seen Bo at all. I was very lucky and managed to trick her otherwise. Uh, and on the way out, I smell my mother's cookies, uh, and that is not an eu <laughs> euphemism. We literally <laughs> smell the baking of my my mother. Uh, with a quick distraction for um, distracting a young guard who went to get help. I managed to sneak in to a, a changing quarter, I suppose, a, a place with all the uniforms, uh, changing to a uniform and make myself look like um, a high-ranking officer, I suppose. Um, and when the other three joined us, who were hiding underneath the boat we were currently on, um, due to an inspection coming towards our little dinghy, um, uh, they ran into me. Uh, we all got changed and disguised, uh, thanks to a very lovely natural twelve uh, roll on my on my side, um, and we rode that twelve all the way down <laughs> <laughs> to to the prison where uh, I found my family as, as well as other members of my village uh, locked in. We managed to convince uh, the guards that everything was fine and let them out, uh, let let them away, um, got the keys. We were found out by the young boy again, um, but after some coercion and uh, throwing him in a cell with my family, we managed to uh, convince him that we were good guys and not going to kill him or anything like that, um, and hatched a plan to get my family in town to escape uh, and possibly commandeer the ship. We don't know yet. Uh, it was an idea of a very small kid, but Flint was down for it. Um, after saying our goodbyes, we headed down to the boat uh, and sailed uh, away, um, where we got harpooned by the Water Tribe, who destroyed our ship for some reason. Uh, convinced them that again we were just tourists looking to enjoy the beauty of uh, Agna Kai, Ag Agna, Agna Keller. Keller, that's it. That's what my writing says for sure. Uh, Agna <laughs> Keller. Um, we managed to convince them and they gave us one of their boats considering the wrecked one of ours uh, and we set sail once again towards the northern water tribe uh, approaching Agnakella, uh, we realized that we probably don't want to go through the main entrance and we tried taking a side entrance where uh, flint t performed absolutely terribly as he hit the cold water and got dragged and dried by Bo, um, where we pretty much immediately found by a family <laughs> who, who were just taking a stroll down the park where we emerged from the lake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we emerged from the lake uh, and we got taken to see the chief of the water tribe. Uh, and we left off as the camera panned away and uh, Chen's husband seemed to have arrived with his... <gasps> what? <laughs> Already? <laughs> who could have... <laughs> thought that this was going to happen right as we hit episode 4. 
Oh it's my almost god! Almost like it was planned. <laughs> like, oh, it's like this is all written in advance. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> We find our heroes back exactly where we left them, in the uh, main hall of the chief's house. And uh, what has Kavik has just revealed their identity and seem to have been recognized by the chief there. Um, and we pick up immediately at this point where right after Kavik Kavik's big speech that they've been preparing this entire time and right as the chief was um, saying that they remembered them looking different last time um, a young girl starts coming out from around the pillar that's on the side behind the chair that the chief was sat on um, comes out clutching a piece of paper and the Arnuk, the chief, goes, Oh, yes, oh, the contract, yes, I need to sign this before they get here. No, thank you, no, thank you, no, OG. no, no, and no, no, no. And the little girl isn't looking at him at all and is focusing straight ahead at Kavik, who, as soon as they see her, starts running towards her and they embrace. This is obviously uh, Kavik's sister, Uji, who they haven't seen each other in over a decade. And this is a very important moment for the both of them. Uh, Kavik has changed a lot. Uh, Uji has stayed similar, but you can definitely tell that they are related. The face of Uji being oddly familiar to to you guys. How old does she look? Exactly their age. They're twins. This is what Whoa! I'm saying. This is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> This isn't. It's it's an unimportant plot point. I just wanted them to be twins. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very important. The bond of twins. Yeah. The incredibly exactly. strong. The bond of twins. Be away from so many decades. So many years. So many years. And uh, as they embrace, the chief is like, "Oh, of course. Can I have the contract now? Um, can can I can I? The, it's what I need to talk to you about is about the contract. Don't sign it. Don't sign it." No, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna sign no, it. No, but listen, I was at the swap. Like no, that, it's up, bad. They it's goes and like grabs the contract out of Uji's hand. So I'm gonna assume that one of the guards is holding my bag of dirt. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to rush towards him, tap the bag, mm -hmm. and as I pull out, send essentially like a darting of sand uh, to rip the contract. To rip the contract? Yes. That's going to so be like, a rely on your skills and training. It's going to be a hard one. Because this roll. is like precision. Yeah. Precision yeah. earthbending. And it's not really what you do. Go for go. <laughs> no! That's a five. Oh. <laughs> As you go and grab this earth you fling it towards the chief and the guards next to the chief assume that it's meant it's a weapon meant for him mm. and immediately send like two jets of water to disperse the earth the Which earth very that easily he just does, sent his yeah. way and uh, immediately everyone is now on edge and um someone has grabbed your hands and like mm -hmm. put them behind your back as this is happening yeah. I'd, I'd really recommend that you listen to her that contract is a bad deal for everyone involved I was I was there when they tested it. I was there. I was. I as a member of the of the party, I can of the people who I'm assuming the contract is with my husband or my family, Earthbenders. The songs. Oh, that's you. That that is me. So I know specifically that that is a bad contract. The reason that we're all here is to is to warn you that my. Dear husband, though he is incredibly handsome, um, is making a bad, <laughs> a bad deal that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt all of your tribe. I uh, bet you see him like opening like the scroll and reading through it, and 
you hear him kind of mutter out what the contract says and had I been prepared I would have written out what the contract says <laughs> but I haven't so this is gonna bear with me <laughs> but this contract is what I'm saying um opens the contract uh to whom it may concern <laughs> As all good as, contracts, as all contracts as all good not, con- not I don't know, to chief away. what's his face yeah. to, whom Arnick, it make- to whom it may concern comma chief Arnuk <laughs> uh, at the line um, this contract states in full the co-ownership of the water mill project led by Shu Ning and his benefactors, the Song family. Comma, at, not full stop, back to the line. Um, this contract also states that in return for this land, the hereby mentioned Chief Arnuk will receive a seat on the newly appointed United Council of Nations a, a, a seat a powerful seat <laughs> that comes with great power and responsibility on the United Council of Nations um, and also a lot of money and prosperity <laughs> for his tribe signed the songs signed Shuning. Signed, so, uh, nearly signed Chief Arnuk. So, as you can see, I am, uh, I have, as a member of the Song family, I can tell you with complete honesty and insider information that the Water Mill project is not, is not one that's in the best interest of your tribe that my husband again though incredibly handsome um does not have the respect um for the people of your of your tribe and would seek to increase his own wealth at nearly any cost we we escaped a great personal risk uh to come and prevent you from signing this contract and and harming your tribe so what did you see I, I, the the only way this system works is in a way that is is fully like profitable is if there's just just pure exploitation of waterbenders. They were testing it in the swamps. That's where I saw it because swamp. I'll do the waterbending again. <laughs> <laughs> it's every time I say swamp. <laughs> um, and like, and then I I I realized what their plans were so they put me in prison and then I broke out and I tried to get here and and I didn't even tell my parents and they're very upset with me but they let me go anyway that's fine I, I, it's I, it might be fine I don't it's anyway we came here you need to just ask just, you don't even have to uh, listen properly you can just ask for more details on how it works before you sign I well, guess. I would, I mean, you could, and I would advise you to do that, but I will also say that my family and husband did lie to me about how, so I don't know, I can't guarantee that they will be I'd recommend you see it them. rather yeah. than ask. Ask for a demonstration, ask for, just get as much information as you can. Then if we're wrong, hmm. you can just throw us in a prison and forget we exist, and then it's fine, no harm, no foul. Well, that's oh, for me. Like bringing up imprisoning us. <laughs> 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 Don't suggest that. Sorry, it's Honestly, I'm getting kind think. of used to them. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Easy no. to break out of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to have two rules for this. Uh, Chen, you're going to do an assess a situation here because you are used to these contracts and they are never as straightforward as this one is. And uh, Bo, you're pleading that he listens. Ooh, that was awful. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, no. Is that a nat two? 
No, it's a nat three. Okay, I that's not as bad. Zero. Yeah, that's a five. Cool. You just know there's probably something fishy about the contract, but yeah. Yeah. as far as you can tell, it seems legit. I have uh, legal advisors who would do more of like the specifics, yeah, like the face of the is. family. I mean, it had to happen okay. this turn, isn't it, for us to get <laughs> all yeah. bad rolls, considering Arguably how well we the were most rolling. important one. Yeah. <laughs> I know! This is for building up to this moment! <laughs> I think the chief, like, doesn't see what's wrong with seeing what's about to happen, but also that wasn't enough to make him renounce like world prestige and like a national on a national stage yeah. um and all of the money that like for his people at this point it's imperative that they get it so i think he's what he's gonna do is well i can always rip it up and he's gonna sign the contract are you holding it can you just rip it first <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Myself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know if Shed was holding it. No. No, no, it's... Ugh. The chief has been, has yeah. been holding on to it this whole time. Um, Why? Right just, as that it's so stupid. happens, anyway, yes. <laughs> you hear a knock on the door. The chief knows exactly who's on the other side of that door and is going to stand up walk towards the door this time to greet his guests, opens the two doors, and standing there is Ning. And behind Ning are two elderly, elderly people um, holding each other, kind of like old people do. Um, but all three of them dressed in some of the most fanciest clothes you could possibly imagine. The colours are lined in gold thread the green is the green of the robes is just it it smells like royalty this is like the the wealth of this family i don't think flint and bow you've realized just how wealthy their songs actually are this is like upper upper class this is where the decisions actually happen in, like it's not government it's these people weighing on government making the decision happen that's how rich they are and it shows in the clothing like it's not you can't tell they've been traveling you can't tell it's been months for them too on the seas and on land and what you're seeing is they arrive and immediately the, like everything drops around them like they come with such prestige that they influence the entire atmosphere of rooms when they walk in and um yeah, it's just everyone suddenly kind of goes silent as Ning walks up towards Arnak and goes, Chief, does a small bow. Um, the song's behind bow as well. And the Chief goes, no, 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 please. No, please come in. We've actually got, we've got your son right here and your husband, if uh, I'm, I'm correct. And um, as he points towards you, Chen, you see your husband who you haven't seen in over two months at this point and he's looking fine <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the picture god. did not do him justice <laughs> <laughs> Flynn says mind. this out loud <laughs> <laughs> and Zig takes everything in me not to be like I told you so I told you so he's very handsome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I just whisper, I... Kavik is right here. Just, just Kavik is right there. Just, just <laughs> it's fine. Can I read like anything on his like face when he looks at me? I'm going to say do an assess a situation. Um, that's a, that's a six. Does someone want to help? <laughs> Somebody. Uh, I, I, can I help? I'm currently being held against by by guards. Can I help? Mm, probably not. Yeah, if you're being I held by so. guards. Yeah. I don't know how I would help. Because yeah, I'm just probably glaring at him. Yeah. Can I, can I you, see? I guess. 
because obviously no, they've they've just walked in. Um, can I see if he seems? Because obviously he'll be surprised because he's not expecting whatever like having Chen there. But can I see if it's like a pleasant like relief surprise or if it's like an angry like, oh crap, why are you here? Um, surprise. Do you want to assess the situation as well instead yeah, of helping? Yeah, because there's no I, way you I could help so. in this analysis because you yeah. don't know, you don't have what? the same link to Ning, so it wouldn't be the same yeah. anyways. Yeah. I just want to know if he's like, oh no, I've been caught in the act or, oh, thank God my, my husband's alive. Like, I want to know Good. what what kind of surprise he's probably displaying. Mm. Uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. Just Five just plus about. two. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you're seeing is that Ning's focus is not on Chen at this particular moment, and he is instead looking behind at Bo. And that is a face of anger and worry. Oh, of course. But Chen doesn't, can't pick up on. No, Chen is, yeah. no. Chen isn't seeing anything. Chen is like fully focused on, oh shit, my husband's here. Yeah, I think, I think like having my family walk in and seeing mm -hmm. Ning, like, even though I know what I did was right and what I'm doing is right, like, I still feel like a wave of, like, shame and I, like, stand up straighter and I, like, try and be on, like, my, my best manners and I think I'm kind of stunned for a second and, yeah, I can't say, don't, yeah. don't initiate anything with my family or anything. Cool. Um, as this kind of, this whole exchange of, like, looks is happening, um, I think Ning kind of loses his composure a little bit and goes, what did she tell you? Don't trust her. And at that, Arnuk is like, oh, wait, do you know each other? <laughs> um, Bo has been my companion and Ning, we were, what you're doing is wrong. This, I am we, bringing prosperity to a land that is in desperate need of some. But it's not your place to to decide for them what well, their way Well, let the forward... chief decide, I guess. Can't tell them all the facts. Do, 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 do. Tell all the facts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Tell all the facts. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I think it's that like all three of the like rich people yeah. turn around and like. Like he, he clearly like, does not know how to behave around people like this, and he is very uncomfortable. Is this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, at that, um, Arnuk is going to go. I mean. I guess I would like to see what you have to offer, for sure. It's a, you know, important offer for our nation and for the rest of, you know, the, I mean, the create the creation of, uni of a United Council of Nations is something that I think as um, a sort of isolated part of this world, we would strive towards in future years. And if that can be done with an alliance, then I don't see what's wrong. The Ken is like so overwhelmed um, <laughs> that his husband and his family are here. Um, Chief, I I do not disagree that your the Northern Water Tribe deserves prosperity and a seat at the at the global stage but i would urge you to to take a very close look at all the details involved in this plan being presented before you as they might not be what they appear on first okay and then you have the stage and as um as he says that Ning fully like 
gestures to these like people in the back who look like the kind of your family's guard, like close personal guard that go everywhere with them. Um, and someone like runs and bows and brings the, pl the plan. And as Ning kind of undoes it, it's been like scribbled over everywhere. You can tell that this has been like a while in the making, like the actual deciding of how it works and all of that has been thought through and like Ning at his heart is an inventor and you can see that kind of chaos as much as he tries to hide it behind pristine wealth. His brain is still chaos and that's what you can see on this poster and as you look at it, it's basically just a watermill where one waterbender is turning ice into water, throwing it through the mill to action it. And then there's a waterbender on the other side, turning that back into ice. And so it's a two people system per mill. And then he rolls that up and then rolls another one. And what he has is a map of the entire Northern Water Tribe covered in these like mill structures. Some of them are huge and require like 10 people on each side to function properly. Some of them are a bit smaller, but closer together. Like this is a, like a chain work of mills. And then he's like showing all of this, explaining how it works, uh, scribbling on top the maths of how effective it would be and the amount of power it would generate. And essentially what he's trying to sell is electricity forever at barely any cost um, for the rest of the world, which would basically make the Northern Water Tribe the holders of petrol. Like this is the energy source and they would own that because it, it would be on their land, essentially. And Cheng, what you remember at this point is that the plan was never to let them keep their land. And um, what you know is that having, like setting invention, inventions on s a soil makes that soil belong to the inventor. So this is what you discovered on the boat on your way here originally, is that the land isn't theirs the minute a song construction gets placed on there. And obviously it's technology is new in this world currently. And so there are no ethical laws in place to protect things like these from happening. And everything has been focused on um, IP, intellectual property and protecting that so that people would invent quicker rather than protecting the people who would be on the other end of that. Um, and so as this all gets explained and you see this like basically as if an entire an entire piece of the, like the Arctic had been covered, literally covered in just mechanical devices. And you've seen what mechanical devices can do to a place because you were at the Northern Air Temple and that was ruined and it was taking them years to get it back to where it was originally. And so you're seeing this and Ning is like, I can demonstrate, I can demonstrate. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Let me show you, uh, but we need to wait. We need to wait, we need to wait a few more hours and then I'll show you exactly how great this invention can be. Can I ask a quick side question? Is that what I knew about it as well? Is that why I, what I knew was wrong about it? Or do I know that like, because, um, or is, is what I know different in a way that it exploits people? So what you know about it is that the physical effort required from waterbenders is really not easy. And it's really not just like, oh, just do a bit of waterbending for a bit, like a few hours and then it works. It's like for this to actually function at the scale is that Ning is implying would require like people exhausting themselves trying to get there can i see in his scribbles where he's maybe downplayed that or fudged it or what uh sure and i'll give it to you for free because you did this is what you were observed back in your hometown mm, he's already rolled it back up though 
I don't, I don't oh, I, No, he has it all kind yeah. of like mm-hmm. he's using some of his guards like one of his guards is like this holding the first <laughs> one and then he's got someone else holding the second one like this. Can I can I go chief if you look here <laughs> and just kind of like run forward before anyone can notice I'm talking. Uh, if you look at this bit here if you you might notice that that doesn't quite track with logic you you're a, I, I assume an accomplished waterbender yourself so you can see that it wouldn't be as simple as just a quick little sleight of hand water bending. It would be, it would require considerable effort that would exhaust anyone. And so this can only uh, be done at the expense of water benders. At that, you uh, see him look behind at one of his advisors that's moved forward. He's not a waterbender. Chief Arnok is a very well-known warrior who's managed to establish himself as the leader of this tribe by incredible like weapon mastery and kindness. He was basically put there because he was the best one for the job, regardless of having bending. But he does have an advisor who will look at this um, and go, well, I guess, I guess, We'll need a demonstration. Can I also suggest that whilst um, what's what's Chen's husband's name? Ning. Ning. Um, after Ning does um, his demonstration, we have your own waterbender try it out as well, just to make sure everything's on the up and up. There's no trickery involved in the demonstration. I am happy. I am so sure that I am happy to pick from your crowd. I will pick whatever water vendor, whatever volunteer you want me to try this on, and I will, you will see. This is, this is a, a, it's a menial task for any water vendor of any skill level. And this would give employment to so many of your people. Regular, stable employment that doesn't rely on, on fishing. We know how troubled the waters are. Chief Anuk, I would also, your priority is to your people and the preservation of your land and culture. Is is that that correct? Yes, I would say that is a a fair assumption. What Ning, um, I'm saying his name instead of like... (laughs) Any, like, pet names or, like, whatever. I'm, like, a big pains me and, like... Honeybee has been saying. <laughs> Stop myself. This is not, it's not honeybee. Um, but what, what Ning has failed to, to demonstrate um, is that any... Where the water mills are constructed, any piece of, of song construction... Um, as you're nope. saying that, Ning is looking at you. And I don't have snaps, full stats for Ning, but I'm going to be rolling into the day. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that dice it's is gone. gone. <laughs> that dice is gone behind the secret door. <laughs> it will never come back. Okay. I'm choosing a stat right now. There we go. Okay. That's a 13. Whoa. Oh. So, yeah. feel free to not let that stop you from saying what you were going to say, because I don't want to dictate how your character reacts in that mm-hmm. moment. But know that, like, Ning has never looked more scary. And you know that saying out loud what you're about to say means that you're probably never going to repair that relationship with him. Yeah, I would I would just urge you to 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 look closer at the at the different legal ramifications of of the land and construction. Um, there's there's more there's, there's more there. Sorry, I was just going to go over and, like, hold your hand. Oh, <laughs> my hand. I think, um, 
Mm. Roll plead again. That's a nine. Cool. I think at that, Arnok for the first time is hearing. I think the land bit, that's truly important to him. And he is not just the leader of these people, he's the he is the protector of this land. That is his job. And he takes it really personally. He's a very spiritual, traditional man, and he doesn't want his land to be taken away. Um, especially by some rich, you know, Earth Kingdom people who know nothing about the tundra and who know nothing about the ice. And so I think this is like, he's now considering looking at the contract again and um, he will do that. He will, before he hands it in, look at the contract again, for sure. And um, yeah, I think uh, after that, he's gonna try to bring peace. He can see that the entire room is a bit tense and that there's so many people trying to tell him literally opposing things um, that he needs time to think and he's basically gonna excuse himself and say, I want to see this demonstration before anything ends. Uh, Ning, I will meet you back here at nightfall and um, all of you enjoy the city. Agna Kello welcomes you um, and we shall meet later once I've had time to discuss this matter with my uh, advisors and um, people you know that there's like the way that the Northern Water Tribe works is um, kind of similarly to the ship. There is a chief, but it is still very much a democracy where the chief is there to represent what the people want. Um, and yeah, basically he goes he goes off on his side, on his end. Ning is uh, gonna go, and right before everyone leaves, Ning is gonna turn around and be like, "Wait, hang on! Don't meet me here. Meet me in the Spirit Oasis." and then everyone kind of goes away. We can either skip to nighttime, or if you guys want to do something in the city, if you guys have things that you want to work on, or people you want to talk to, or anything like that, we can also do that. I would want to try and get what, um, if Chen tells us about the land rights mm -hmm. thing, I would, uh, try and get that information to the advisors as well maybe okay. have it written down somewhere and, and get it to ask maybe Kavik to give it to their sister yeah so that you what you can okay roll assess the situation to see how much I give you that is that one. I was going to count it anyway, even though it like fell out the box because it was a six. But I'll be good. And that is worse. Uh, no, it's fine. You can use the six. <laughs> <laughs> no, because last time I didn't. So it's <laughs> when it fell okay, out the box. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's fair a, enough. That's a six. That's a six. Does someone want to help? Yeah, I can help. Okay. Don't forget to mark a fatigue yeah. when you when you help. Um, you see everyone kind of uh, go off and you, you're you not sure that the advisors would have a better chance of getting through to the chief than the general public who was going to go to the like open council thing that the chief is going to hold later. Oh, okay. I didn't know there would be a general public thing, but then I guess we could wait for that and give information that... you're not invited to this <laughs> Can we give that to the advisors and ask them to bring it up then? <laughs> start a start a grassroots campaign <laughs> start talking in the in the city I mean, i'm not saying start a riot but <laughs> i'm french <laughs> <laughs> um flint will walk up to um Kavik. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, his, and their sister and be like, well, I told you, we'd get you here. I don't know how to thank you. I mean, there's 
still so much to do. She's not really, she's not really here of her own right. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's kind of being held against her will here. But we, I, I'll deal with that later. Don't worry about it. Thank you for what you've done for me. Of course. Now, this meeting, uh, and I go really close, really quietly. We need an end. A back door. I'm sure you know. I may or may not have contacts. <laughs> and they, they'd start giggling. And uh, they're like, yes, of course. Um, what do you need? This is a meeting open to all Northern Water Tribe uh, people. And so they can fully go in if they want to. Mm -hmm. If you can get us in. Obviously, Earth people are very welcome. Mm. I can take it from there. I'm scared. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm also me, a terrified. <laughs> 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 oh, that sounds... I owe you. I owe you that much. Thank you. Hi. Lady Kamek. Nice to meet I'm you. Uji. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, sh I shake your hand. It's like, yep, very nice to meet you. It's we've heard a lot about you, really. Well, we heard that you were imprisoned against the <laughs> will. Thank but you for what you've. I mean, I I never thought I'd see them again. No, oh, it's a, no bother. Family's there for each other. Oh, and if you ever need to shout when you're over at the Earth Kingdom, we're just down the frozen river. I'll I'll remember that. Thank you. Hmm? She's ecstatic. Like she's her life has been miserable. Like this is <laughs> so much better than the highest point of anybody else's life. It's a real bad look for the Northern Water Tribe. <laughs> 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 Who literally did nothing wrong. <laughs> she she was found a traitor. Like there was a yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was yeah. literally yeah. just Kavik that messed up, but they just I, went. I, you I, are I find extra it. Well, but <laughs> I I find it extra hilarious that they've put a traitor. <laughs> to work for the government. <laughs> <laughs> They're lenient people. <laughs> it's, it's about rehabilitation, not punishment. It's about, it's about the Northern, Northern Water Tribe not having a prison system, is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> mm. gotcha. yeah Chen also like introduces himself to her. Um, like, Hi! Yeah, it's... I've had a lot about you in the last like five minutes. <laughs> you've, five minutes. <laughs> you've made an impression. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going through a lot personally right now, but <laughs> to, to meet you. Uh, and if I'd like turn to Flint, I think after overhearing this a little bit and be like, that's one plan. I think we have got to have multiple streams of plans mm -hmm. to prevent mm -hmm. this from happening. Bo, oh, I yes, think... perfect. Um, Kavik, I would recommend that you volunteer yourself for the trying of this thing as a way to redeem your return. I, I hadn't thought of that. Yes, it's brilliant. Yes. And Kavik and, is, like, at this point, going to, yeah. like, run around seemingly having the thing that they've been looking for for so long and is going to try to find uh, whoever's in charge of just, mm -hmm. like, choosing the volunteer. Try your best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Water bending is kind of what I do. Mm -hmm. Put your all. Put your back yeah, into I it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> Lift with your legs. <laughs> <laughs> bend with your legs. <laughs> it's a very earth, earth yeah. bender way of thinking. <laughs> bend, with, bend with your legs. Bend with your legs. <laughs> can cool. I yeah turn to to Bo and and share mm -hmm. the information? Um, Bo, I think if this seems to be a general public vote, if it's possible for you to, so what's going on is that any piece of land that has song construction on it becomes the property of my family, and the amount of land it would take to power the quantity of the whole many different nations would be to decimate almost this entire city and so much of the northern water tribe if there's any way that you can like <laughs> like 
print pamphlets, <laughs> like go door to door, <laughs> like start like passing this information as much as we can. And I'm gonna go and try and find somebody from the from my family's party, anybody who will listen to me. Are you gonna be okay on your own though? I um I reach over to like Gris like gr- like shake your hand, Chen. Uh, and as I do, you feel earth moving from the vest of earth that I've been carrying the, <laughs> since the blimp uh, down my arm and then into your sleeve and like grasp around like a block of earth, grasp around your your forearm essentially, like a bracer almost. And it's just like just in case. Oh, thank you, Flint. I, I. This means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my gratitude is overwhelms the amount that I am a little bit grossed out by your vest dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is now it is now a block of rock around your your <laughs> your arm essentially. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can protect yourself. It's just your family. You're gonna be fine. It's good. It's fine. Yes. Um, maybe you can. Um, it'd be hard to meet up later. Maybe we can head there together. Okay, and yes. And then separate. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to to veer off, spread some rubies. I'm good at that. Hmm. I... Yes. Yeah. Oh, we should have brought your mum. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trained good and well from Mama Flint. Yeah. Yeah. 40 years growing up with that woman. <laughs> I you know, know the ways to... of gossip. <laughs> yeah, you know how to find the woman who's like in her like ice rocking chair, like on her porch. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm fully gonna go into the like underbelly of this town and spread the rumors up the chain, not down. <laughs> sure. So cool. essentially, what I want to do is sp- start the rumor. Essentially, what they said, like, oh, did you hear that the Song family is gonna try to buy out the Northern Water Tribe? It's like, oh yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Like, the the Song family, they're like just gonna come in, destroy our houses, and build machines in them instead. It's like, oh, did you hear about the North uh, Air Temple? They're gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm just gonna like start whispering that to like all of the like the the lower classes and let them like speak it up, yeah. towards, the, up towards the chain for sure. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Sure. Do I, um, should I do? Do plead? you think? Uh, I guess. Because yes. I've got I've got yeah. a thing called roguish charm, which is basically like plead with. An yeah, that is what it is. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. If roguish yeah. charm is about pleading, then yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so it just says uh, when you plead with an NPC or yep. guide comfort to someone by flattering them and empathizing with them, mark one fatigue and roll with creativity instead of harmony. So I'm basically Brilliant. marking a fatigue ahead. to spread these rumors, I'm assuming. Yeah. Ooh. Plus uh, two, that is a ten. A ten? And I okay, f- you've covered, like, in... It's not very long before the council happens. Like, usually they'll announce maybe an hour so people have time to gather upwards. Um, and within that time, it's fully spread. The rumors that the evil Song family are coming to steal your house is fully yeah. in there. And you can tell that that train of like thought will definitely have an important representation at the council later. I was getting so <laughs> emotional at Flint doing this huge thing and the evil Song family. Cool, 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 cool. That's yeah. <laughs> well, we've got to stop this. That's that's his mind has went for full sabotage. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's absolutely yeah. Very good. I'm like that's brilliant. Ooh, I'm so actually, glad you're doing it. I'm also fucked. <laughs> I'm just wondering, does that mean that this is again rolling in my bad habits? Is sabotage is one of them? Yeah. Because so instead of. Instead of uh, roguish charm, it would be just full on indulging in my bad habits. Up now, to you. does this count as with friends or by myself? 
I think this is for the community, so it would probably count with, as friends. with friends. So, so my my balance shifts one closer to friendship. Uh, and then I, I don't will... know because you are shitting all over the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not no, for I've friends. Asked you. It's it's with friends. That's yes, that's okay. Right, like, is this? It is. I mean, it is for the cause of the party's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that ignore that ten, I suppose, because it's a different roll altogether. Are you rolling again? Uh, do I not? Because I add. I, I was really just going to use the same. Oh, so that that would be before. nine then, because it's it's yeah. one less than my creativity. So that'd be nine instead of. So, that just means that there's like slightly less like, when before it was already extremely close to the majority, and now you're a bit you're closer to like a third of the people there will have this strong opinion, which is already a lot of people there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That does that seem fair? <laughs> no, that's that's fine by me. I I didn't want to roll less, so I, I'll go with it. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bo wants to try and convince people, but also Bo is not that good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need you. I need you with me. I... Okay, yeah. Because then, if your family are lying to you, I'm good at telling when people are lying, and I can help you figure that out. And it's that will do. Yeah, I'll I'll stick with you. And then, if you need protecting as well, I'm there, and that's fine. Thank you. We started this thing together. Let's finish this thing together. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll like the my around here somewhere move to absolutely. look for somebody? Yeah. Absolutely. In my party, who is gonna be the most Don't mind me anxiously going back to session three notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine. Which is very good. It's a nine. So it says on a seven to nine, on a hit you find them. And they can assist you. Mm -hmm. On a seven to nine, either they aren't caught up in their own problems or you don't owe them an apology, a favor, an apology. So I'm going to say that, yeah, that they aren't caught up in their own problems because they probably do. So you do owe them an apology. A, uh, yeah, a favor, an apology. Okay. Bo, so Bo, are you going as well? Yeah, so the two of you kind of uh, walk back to kind of lower where you know that the guard would hang out um which is close to where the ships are landing they're getting people off like they're useful people and they're like not horrible people as well they're just they've been hired to a job and so they're here to protect the song family mm -hmm. and uh, as you sort of um walk towards like down this area you hear chen is that you and you turn around and this it's this like older woman again she's in her 60s as well um you haven't seen her in 22 years at this point it's been so long and um what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a little flashback if you'll <laughs> indulge oh. me yes go for cool. it it's 22 years earlier the sun is uh, shining. You're a younger, much younger version of yourself. Um, you've uh, just finished your long, long studies at the academy. You're uh, just about hitting 40 this year. And um, what you're watching on, on the stage that's right in front of you is the uh, ceremony of uh, graduation for the new generals of Ba Sing Se. And on stage is your very best friend, Kim. And you know that she deserves this more than anyone else in the world. Uh, you've been best friends for so long. You've gone through the academy together. You even had a fling. It didn't last. Um, but you, as your friendship was so tight that it has managed to um, survive this and now you kind of make fun of it with each other and uh, as she's she's grabbing her little medal of honor she looks really you know poised she's six foot five <laughs> <laughs> no she's like five eight <laughs> no, she's i had five. i had i had to Wait you know fit it in one more time um and uh she comes down the stage and she's like shaking hands like really like she's so excited this is her big day um 
your paths kind of went in different directions. She went the full military route, you went diplomacy. Um, and, but you've, you know, you basically grew up as adults together in this academy. The studies were long and hard and you did them all together. And uh, immediately when she sees you in the crowd, she starts screaming, ah! <laughs> how people do when they're graduating. And she runs towards you and it's like, Can, look at it, look at it. And she like really proudly shows her, um, her little like pin that says like general on it. Um, I like look yeah. at it and then I give her like the biggest hug and I like whisper in her ear. I'm like, you deserve this so much. I love you so much. You're gonna I would so have great. never done it without you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, here is where I'm putting you on the spot. Give me a reason why you stopped responding to her letters after this. So around that time, like in my 40s, is actually when I met Ning. And it started like, cause yeah, like we had a, a fling, like I like had all these expectations like from my family about who it was supposed to be. It took me a long time to realize my sexuality and stuff. So when I met him, I was like, became so like absorbed in everything that he was and I like, forgot and like let our friendship like go to the side and then enough time had happened that I yeah felt too guilty to to reach out again I also didn't want to like bother her because she was doing really important stuff as like a general and I'm like she doesn't care about me anymore and I have like fucked up our, our friendship past the point of yeah being able to repair it flash forward to today and she's stood there and all of that resentment all of that guilt it's gone life happens and she knows it and she was busy too and after a while she stopped replying and stopped trying to reach out and she's so happy to see you here. like genuinely happy that you're here that like you've not just died because at some point <laughs> she started thinking that that had happened to you what are you doing here? Oh, of course, Ning. Oh my God, congratulations. Oh, this no, is no, 20 no, no, years no, no, no. I'm so sorry. Don't, we, we will talk about, we'll talk about him, we'll talk about that in a second. I'm so sorry that I, Oh. that I no. No, didn't please. prioritize a friendship with you the way I should have. I want to know about your life and everything that has happened. And oh my god. I, I um, can't believe that you're here! <laughs> I can't believe that you're here! I mean, look at that, look at that, and she's showing exactly <laughs> the same way as before, but instead of the one star, she's got like 17, like, in a row. She's Hell been to yeah. all of them. She was at the Barsing Say Siege. She was like all of the big checkpoints of the Earth Kingdom. She was there, she was leading. Um, she is like one of the most well-respected people around here, and she doesn't let that make her any less like excited and joyful outwardly like she's not let that close her at all um and basically she goes oh my god there's so much to tell you i'm married i'm married i'm married <laughs> yes let me look at the ring <laughs> it's, it's beautiful it's earth oh it's god. earth <laughs> she bended it for me herself <laughs> See, these are things I miss, um. Oh. Do you have a picture? I sh oh, I should have invited you. This was like five years ago. I should have invited you to the wedding. <laughs> well, it's okay. We'll just have to... We'll no, have a... Uh, we'll celebrate our weddings. We can do it again. There's... Uh, the, it's... Vow, the vow renewals. I heard that straight people do that. <laughs> vow renewals? We can do vow renewals. <laughs> we, can do, we can do <laughs> vow renewals. It'll this be, is it'll us be cool again. renewing <laughs> the friendship. We can have a friendship oh vow. Oh <laughs> Chen starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> friendship vow renewal. <laughs> oh my god. She fully no, like hugs you. <laughs> I love you. She's no, not that tall, but she is extremely buff. <laughs> 
No, but seriously, I want to see a picture. You have, you must have a picture of me. Of course I have a picture. Who do you think I am? A heathen, not carrying around a picture. Exactly. Shows you a picture of this, like, old woman. <laughs> she's in her 60s. She's a woman. She's attractive. She's 6'5". She's just 60. <laughs> I know. She's I... also 6'5". No, about 6'3 with a hunch now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I know that Kim's into tall women, so I'm like, oh, yes, you did it. I'm so happy for you. Um, okay, all of this very exciting things aside, I'm sure that you know that I'm on the outs, that some stuff has happened. I'm not. No, they don't tell us anything. Classic. Um,. <laughs> This is really bad. <laughs> is Bo just stood behind all this? <laughs> <laughs> Bo just full on in the side. One hundred percent, yes. <laughs> I like. I think I initially was like a bit defensive, then I just like calmed down, and now I'm just kind of like stood awkwardly, not knowing how to stand <laughs> as I like, wait to be introduced when I'm <laughs> just here. I think. Uh, I think uh, Kim is gonna like as you hug one. Another time, Kim is gonna look and be like, oh, "Is this your child? Is this your daughter? <laughs> Introduce me, my child." Kim, sweetie, I'm basically no, no. no. <laughs> this is. I'm Bo. getting mixed. I'm reading mixed signals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she saved my life. So, I. She's solid for a child. Family, but not. <laughs> I'm like 24. I've met her parents. <laughs> As possible. I'm like, I'm old. <laughs> um, but no, this is Bo. Bo, this is Kim, my childhood friend. Hello. <laughs> and I was just about to tell her how about how fucked we are. So. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So, but wait, hang on. Let's. I mean, does this need to be private? I do have quarters. Yeah, that's probably... Inviting you back to my quarters like all times. <laughs> Bo, you better keep an eye on us. We're going to get... <laughs> <laughs> Bo's just like... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, we're kidding. Kim, show Bo the picture of your wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't. I won't be asked twice. <laughs> Again, just an old woman. She's tough. An old She's... woman. <laughs> yeah, she's very beautiful. Thank you, I know. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Bo, don't get too... Don't be going for Kim's wife. <laughs> I'm, loving, I'm loving the idea that uh, Kim got married at 55. And, yeah. uh, uh, and Chen got married at 50. <laughs> if I'm keeping track, like most people in this place have only been getting hitched. <laughs> later on in life. <laughs> I mean, is it is it Chen's first marriage? Yeah, Chen had a lot of compet to work through. Uh, a lot okay. of like family expectations to be like, I'm gonna be wife. Um, Kim is like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> very supportive. We were in, we were in it together. We were in the trenches. Yeah. We were in the actual in trenches. The trench, in the, the trenches. In the trenches. Heterosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great place. Not no. a great place. <laughs> Glad we were in together. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we're going back to the Kim's quarters. Yeah, so you just it's just so that you're out of earshot from anyone else. Um, what's what's wrong? So Bo saving my life is part of the reason that Oh, I'm hang on, you're fucked up. You're Bo! You murdered that guard. Someone keeps saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm. I don't want to assume. I'm sorry. I've just. It's what we've been told. I. Oh, I know. I should question. No, it I that basically she feels did. Awful. He died because of me. It's fine. I'm gonna go sit in the corner. That's no. It's an important. <laughs> That's not the say. same. You're an important part of the. Important. That's part of not the same as yeah. killing someone. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Very different. It's yeah. No, it's. Sure, it's different. A whole village is locked up because they might have known me potentially. I didn't even meet them, but it's because of me. It's fine. Everything's Which fine. village? The, the Flint's village? <laughs> you don't know Flint. Oh, I don't know how the, to explain. Is that the... Uh, I told them that they didn't have to give results. Give me a second. And uh, that you see she goes and like types up something like on a... One of those. 
I forgot the typewriter. A typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what was happening. Was like, <laughs> a typewriter, and you see, like, she, like, write something like, "Sorry, I'll be with you in a minute." <laughs> Pulls it out, stamps it, and uh, leaves. Comes back in. That'll be dealt with. Oh. Sometimes um, you just gotta leave it to the you. lesbians, man. Nobody gets anything. Nobody else gets <laughs> shit done. <laughs> they, they might or might not already have commented that shit, but we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll we'll get get to to it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go to free it. them as just half of their guards in the cell. <laughs> 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 All just sitting down having breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> love um but yeah Bo saved my life because we found out that my whole family and Ning's plan is like super messed up because basically the TLDR is that the places where they put the water mills be anywhere you put the song construction equipment becomes song family property so they're basically gonna wipe out at least all of Agna Keller and like a lot of the water tribe um, to make money off of this like energy system. Um, yeah. And the energy system doesn't doesn't work unless the water vendors are like yeah. working flat out just constantly. So it doesn't. I seem to remember that water vendors are strongest at night time when the moon is. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this why the demonstration is happening tonight? That would make a lot of sense. But mm. hopefully it'll be Carrick. It is Carrick, right? I got that name right this time. Kavik. Kavik! God damn it! <laughs> why We've been around for three whole sessions, Avery. <laughs> Try harder. Very, very much a focus of this entire thing has been Kavik. I'm writing it in big <laughs> letters you know, the, in front the, of the, my the face. Possible the possible enslavement of the water tribe has been secondary to Kavik. To Kavik. What- <laughs> it's just because they're so hot. <laughs> I- <laughs> mm, yes. Confused <laughs> letters. It's true. Um, it's going to be Kavik, so hopefully they can explain that it was only ca- they were only capable of doing it because of the night. And then they would know, right? That, like the advisors and stuff would know that that's can we what do get you in touch I mean, with I, Flint this is... anyway and put that into the rumor mill as well <laughs> thing for everybody to know I think we've got to rumor that ourselves Flint's got a plan, don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> not worried um, at all I think Kim is, is kind of like I mean that does sound awful but what do you want me to do about it if you can, I know that this is a big favor that I'm asking of you to like leverage your position and years of experience working with my family. But if you can talk to my parents at all about this, I think they might listen to you more than they'll listen to me at this point. I mean, they don't tend to the communication with them is always a little bit complicated but I'll do my best as long as you promise to hire me once I get kicked off of the Earth Kingdom troops absolutely absolutely we will not we'll get you and your wife and me and that never mind that's that's a whole other thing that we're gonna not a priority right now Vows will adopt you. You can come live with us. So can what you, does child. My life become. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bo has actual parents. I have to We've go met home. Them. My They're parents really nice. are quite upset because I mean, I of would the see aforementioned wife. murder. Mm. Once again, I just want to make sure you understand that you didn't kill anyone. And as far as I'm understanding On this. On a technicality, Earth Kingdom troops murdered one of their own and pinned it on you. Which, from a technical 
justice standpoint makes you the victim. No, but if he wasn't helping me, he wouldn't have died. That doesn't mean it's your fault. I'm assuming that this guard chose this path for himself. I convinced him. Guards are trained to not be influenced by other opinions. I can guarantee you that what he did, he did in full conscience of the risks and he chose that himself. And I know this is hard and I have lost many men to battle, but it's not always my fault. And when it is, it's important I recognize it, but when it isn't, it's important I don't let it ruin my life. I will do what needs to be done for your reputation. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's... It's fine. The, the important thing is is stopping Ning. It's, it's fine. That I don't know how much I can do, but for this... There won't be any more posters of you. I promise you that. Thank you. I like and she's hug. gonna, like, hug you. <laughs> do I, no, I, no, I step in the, in the middle? middle. <laughs> Squish in the middle between the two. Full group like, hug. Full group oh, hug. God. Why do Earth Kingdom people hug so tight? <laughs> You're crushing me. Please. We're hugging with the legs. <laughs> God, the image, right? <laughs> cool. So, you've planted seeds in various places and unless anyone wants to do anything else uh we will move on to the council meeting i think i think um i'll meet up with kevik so i can get instructions on to how to sneak in the closest to this machine as possible sure so the machine isn't going to get shown at the council the machine right like the demonstration is going to happen in the spirit oasis once night has arrived mm -hmm. um and basically the council is to decide which uh way the public and the actual water tribe people which mm -hmm. side they will be on uh, is this before or after it gets before or after the demonstration it's before. So the council is like, it's happening right now. After the council ends, the demonstration begins. Okay. So think of the council like a public inquiry to help the leader of a people decide um, what, like not decide, but understand what the tribe wants so that they can represent those interests at the demonstration. It's a referendum. <laughs> <laughs> to decide it's Brexit. referendum uh, it is. <laughs> not those again um, I think I'm going to go towards the machine cool not the council I've, I've planted all I could for the council yep um, and I'm, I'm going towards the machine cool in that case because I was going to run the council specifically as you asked um, does anyone want to do anything specific at the council or do we want to run the council as a dice roll. I was going to see if I could find Ning before the council, but if we don't have sure. time to do that, that's No, fine. no, no, absolutely. I'm absolutely going with you if you're going to see Ning. I don't trust you not to just get lost <laughs> in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so... I do not want to see him. I have so many emotions. <laughs> please, thank you. Come, Please come with me. Um, but I need to know, I need to know where we stand before all of this goes down. Cool. Uh, you find Ning just alone in his quarters on the, on the ship. Like the ship is so nice that he's got his own quarters in there to work and like be fully focused on what he's doing. And you know how he gets once he's started sciencing, it takes a lot to 
take him out of it and um do you knock on the door do you walk in yeah i'm gonna knock on the door cool so you knock on the door there's not really a response but you know that there usually isn't one anyways okay i'll i'll open the door then cool uh you open the door and what you see is there's been an explosion in this room there's papers everywhere there's stuff on the floor there's writing on the walls there's, it's carved into the floor into the ceiling maths going on um and uh he's like fully crouched in a corner like over a little piece of parchment and he's just like muttering to himself and like writing down equations and equations and equations oh this like reminds me of all the times I would like come and like bring him food and stuff and like uh I like I don't want to like touch him I think I might knock on the inside of the door again and be like Ning like it's me hello <laughs> as soon as he like hears that it's you he's gonna like you see like you sense that he's heard and he goes back to scribbling as if he hadn't heard you. I understand why you might not want to talk to me, but before everything happens tonight with the council and the and the chief and all that stuff, I felt like I needed to come here and just ask you why, like, Look around. I know that you're a brilliant person. Like, you know the kind of harm that's going to happen to the Northern Water Tribe. And you don't need this. You don't... Our, this, your family, my family, we don't need money. We don't need to become bazillionaires, like, from, like, powering all of the Four Nations with this energy. Like, what is... What? Why? As you say why, again, he, like, just slaps the the paper on the floor and just, without looking at you, goes, you don't understand. You don't understand what it's like to wake up and it's 3 a.m. and you, you have all of these ideas and they, they would change the world. They would make it a better place. But you don't have electricity because, oh, you're not in Barsing Say anymore. And where you're standing, they don't have electricity yet. And even when you are in Barsing Say, you can't use all of everyone's electricity. And so you, you're stuck in your creativity and in what you could do for the world, for everyone, for the people, because you just don't have the power. Your parents need the money, and I need the power. But you know that there's better ways. This is not the only way to share electricity beyond bossing say. Don't you think? And I've tried. There's this, this water mill was, it's the simplest invention. It's the simplest thing I've ever done. It's the only one that would work, and it would only work because the Northern Water Tribe have all of this land and they don't do anything with it. Don't do anything! This... Just because land doesn't produce, doesn't create monetizable, like, doesn't create money for my family or people like my family, doesn't mean that it's not valuable. This, us coming in here, we have no right to tell the Northern Water Tribe about what to do with their land or what's valuable to them. They already have a city and a culture. You know that there's a difference between this contract that you've signed, that you created, this plan, was going, going to destroy them. And there are other ways to do this. And if, if, if your brilliance, if your inventions doesn't consider human life, then they're not, then you haven't come to the right solution. I don't think a few, a, a dozen 
human lives are worth what the, all the good that could come out of this project. And I am going to make you roll for plead and know that there's no stopping what comes next, but there is altering the, the end of the fight that is about to arrive. That is a nine. Cool. I remember that. Either you are crueler and more heartless than I knew you to be, or you have deluded yourself and you won't take a close look at the real cost of this project, which I know, again, I know that you have done the math on. And I don't know which one is, which one is the truth. You see that, like, calling him heartless and cruel is maybe the first time that he's, like, reconsidered. Because as much as you two have, like, had beef about this project, um, his love for you was the only thing that was on, like, a similar level to his love of science and progress. I think I know what I'm going to say, but I might wait till Chen is, like, leaving. That's all okay. I got. I think I'm yeah. going to leave. I'm going to... Okay. I'm, I'm... I just look at him and go, I'm not going to try and appeal to your humanity. I'm not completely convinced you have any. Um, but Chen is one of the best people I've ever known. And he literally goes around telling li everyone, regardless of whether they ask or not, how much he loves you and is standing against you on this. And that should be enough to make you reconsider. And if you don't, you never deserved him anyway. So <laughs> just leave. <laughs> and then you leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right before you turn around you see him like visibly wiping tears off of his face <laughs> he's not turned around this entire interaction you've not faced one another the entire interaction i go to Bo, like Bo, just make me don't make me turn around keep please like hold my hand hold my arm or something we got I'm, like pushing you <laughs> i said a really i said a really smart thing and you said a really smart thing and then we said the things and now we're gonna leave <laughs> Also, as a side note, can I remove my guilty condition because of my talk with Kim? Absolutely. <laughs> so glad we had a nice little chat with my husband. <laughs> had some things to say. Do people have a reason for wanting to run through the council, the actual thing happening, or will we leave it to just one roll of the dice? I think just a roll of the dice. I think we've done... Okay. In this case, you've done two things out of a possible three to influence the council, and you've done them successfully. This is the two-thirds chance of you having the public on your side, so one to four, you won't have the public on your side. Five to twelve, you will. Fantastic. Are you ready? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> we need a box of doom. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's a nine. Woo! Woo! It's fine. We're all good. Can you can you see? I'm hiding my face. No, no it's so blurry. You can't. Oh, there, Yay! There. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Uh, you have the. Uh, Northern Water Tribe on your side for this, which Woo! means that Onuk is a lot more likely to listen to you now that he's listened to his people and his people have spoken. Uh, as you walk outside of the council 
chambers, you hear like, they're trying to steal our homes! <laughs> Go Flynn! And just like the, the, the shortest version of this rumour that was spread originally. <laughs> just, oh yeah. no. The simplest, everything has collapsed down to its most simplest iteration. Um, and, but then you hear like the of the judge at the front um, announcing that the public of Agna Keller and the representative of the Northern Water Tribe have voted in favour of uh, you guys, basically, and against uh, the song project. Cool. We cut to night time. You have been ordered to meet up with uh, everyone at the Spirit Oasis, which is just again on the upper tier but a bit further along the back kind of hidden away and you walk into like a luscious green oasis um this is the first time you've felt dirt and actual earth in a in a while because it this is like a garden in the middle of a desert if the desert was ice and um there's flowers there's trees and in the middle is this pond with the two spirits um just uh, fishing fishies <laughs> swimming <laughs> that's one for ah, the, the fishies cut. fishying <laughs> so the very complicated word of swimming <laughs> swimming just around like circling one another swimming uh, around one another this uh, place it feels peaceful like you walk in and this sense of like meditation comes to you and you feel like nothing bad can really happen here um but like you've uh, Chen you would have heard that like bad things have happened here in fact and it is not because it's a spiritual place that it is protected from evildoers um and you walk in and on the island just next to the the little water pond uh Ning has set up the the watermill and Kavik is on the side they've succeeded in making themselves the volunteer for this and uh, before we jump into anything Flint is there anything you want to do absolutely I would like I would like to use my moment of balance <gasps> <laughs> so my moment of balance is basically that I've learned that um, you know Breaking the rules doesn't mean losing people, but gaining them. So I get to do so constructively. And I, I lead my companions in breaking all the rules to accomplish an incredible feat. And my feat that I want to accomplish here is I want to break into this place just before everyone arrives, alongside Kavok. Uh, and I want to sabotage the mill to make it significantly harder to move to compensate for the power that the watermenders have at night. Uh, and I'm going to use all of the crazy item breaking skill, technology breaking skills that I have developed in the air temple from deconstructing machines alongside the uh, acolytes to basically jam this thing, like tightening, like gears tighter than they should be like forcing bolts to be at a like a rough angle just to make this thing very difficult to move granted yep <laughs> <laughs> uh you managed to do this fully unnoticed there were guards at the entrance of this place there were guards inside there were people literally working on the mill and you've managed to elude them all um and you've jammed this thing and as you try to pull on it just with your normal strength it doesn't move anymore um and then do you just leave again uh, i i i keep an eye to make sure like I, i'll i'll hide off because this is earth there's bushes and stuff i'll mm -hmm. hide off until the very moment when this is about to like people are beginning to arrive and like okay. people leave the machine so that the waterbenders can go through um and i'll 
disappear into the crowd and meet up with the others. Very cool. Uh, all three of you walk in together then? Yeah. Oh, hi Thank guys. You. What were you up to? Woo, Some intense you know. conversations. Uh -huh. Yeah, I met, a, oh. met an old friend. She's really great. Hopefully you can meet her. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, I spread some rumors. Uh, I heard. Yeah. Nice. Which, which one made it through? Because I, I said like four or five. <laughs> they're taking our homes. Oh, so the second one, the boring one. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> um, this is going to be an interesting demonstration. I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put sand in it? Then you can just turn it to stone when it gets going. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 nope. Uh, but we'll get there. Don't okay. worry. Cool. <laughs> if I if I trust in you to do anything, it's chaos. To to break things. <laughs> to break things. <laughs> Aw, I wanna. I I feel so grateful towards flint and i'm like such a like serious like huggy person but i know that that's not his vibe but i just want to be like thank you oh i i full on patting like, him patting him yeah I, i'm full <laughs> on like with my arms around the two of you like probably like Aww. this really just like <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great <laughs> uh you walk in and uh this is a closed presentation so currently right now it's you guys on stage is Ning, Kavik is there with the mill, Uji is in the back, Onuk is front row, ready to watch everything, but suspicious, immediately suspicious. Um, and then the songs are like trickling in with about like a dozen a dozen that means 12 and not a dozen that means six guards uh, guarding them like on the side and if neither of any of you want to do anything before the presentation the presentation is going to start can i just roll to see if he looks messed up by what we said <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 assess your situation i don't assess anything <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I think, <laughs> yeah. Guys, game face on. Yeah, I think I think Flynn's like happy with what he's done. He's spread rumors. He's messed up with the machine. He's like, yeah. oh, I've I've done all I could here. I've used all my skills. <laughs> <laughs> you truly have used the strongest <laughs> skill possible in this game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that that was my plan last session. I was like, I'm gonna mm. use this to mess up the biggest <laughs> section possible. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I love it. Is Kim in the crowd with us? Like, can I see her? Uh. Yes, she's in the guard. She's <laughs> in the guard behind your parents. Okay, so I can't like. Can I like, try and catch her eye and like? You can. You can the... try to. Get, okay. You can try to catch her eye if you want. Um, okay. I'm giving it to you for free because I there's no skill that is catch your eye. <laughs> That is, uh, see your childhood best friend from across exactly. the room and use secret best friend facial <laughs> language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um, just but roll you with can passion. see she's like <laughs> in, she's like serious in her role, like she knows how to be. And then she's like looking around because she's a, officially a security guard, so that's what she does. She looks around, and she catches your eye across the room and winks at you, and then continues like. I like I like squeeze Bo's hand or something or like talk to them when I'm like cool. <laughs> uh, cool. As a or as a little side it. note, I'm just gonna get rid of my inspired to move my balance. That's how that works, right? Sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it back towards trust. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Ning is gonna. Uh, I was gonna say grab a microphone. No! <laughs> hey, everybody! Uh, hey. He, hey, he's the bros. inventor. He's created microphones. He's created microphones. He well, needs electricity for his microphones. <laughs> he's just actually an avid karaoke fan, and that's why he's doing all of this. Exactly. exactly. 
Oh my gosh. I was gonna say I was gonna say a, a podcast dude, but karaoke yes. is much better. Can't Play believe you married Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Podcast chat for sure. It. It's the last straw. But yeah, he's gonna like <clears throat> to try and like get everyone to quiet quiet down. And then he's gonna go ladies and her uh, Gentlemen, and at that, Kevin goes, "No." <laughs> and he like no. he looks at he looks at them and, ladies, gentlemen, and other 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 human beings, others. Um, welcome Just to Just say everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. <laughs> welcome to my uh, presentation. And like after this like small loss of fitting at the start, um, he's like, you know, he's rolled up his sleeves and he's ready for this. And he goes, uh, I have here in front of you uh, the watermill. As you can see, it is very, uh, it doesn't, it's not that big. It doesn't take that much space. I have put it respectfully in the most sacred place that you own. And I will explain why in one minute. Um, Kavik. Kavik is poor. Kavik is respectfully, done. I've respectfully put it in your sacred place. <laughs> <laughs> I've respectfully. Oh. <laughs> um, and uh, Kavik moves forward. And then uh, Ning is like, Kavik, uh, one of your t- tribesmen, p- person, truly struggling. <laughs> um, here we'll show you how it is meant to be operated and how simple it is. Kavik, take water from the pond, push it through, everybody will see that it works and it is not that difficult. If this Kavik is like, I'm not stealing water from the sacred oasis. Are you insane? And is like, like forcing a jet of water from outside, like ice from outdoor into the place. And in some feet of water bending, splashes it against the water mill. Does not move an inch, not a single inch. The water splashes on and it just dies and the mill just hasn't even started to move and at that <laughs> ning is kind of angry ning is like no 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 try harder i oh i'm i this i promise you i tried it myself it's fine i did it with earth water is so much more fluid tries again splashes again does not move at this arnok is like we're wasting our time if Kavik, one of our strongest, can't do this. How do you expect any of any of us to even attempt this? And uh, Ning is like losing his, he's losing the audience. And so he's kind of losing his mind a little bit. He's like, no, it should work. It should work. He's doing the mass in his head again. And he doesn't understand why it shouldn't work. And then he goes outside. No, but the moon is out. And then he goes back in. He's like, no, wait, wait, plan B. And he gets a little device from his pocket and he plunges his hand into the pond and sticks it onto <laughs> the fish um, the moon spirit starts oh, wheeling about into the pond really rapidly not really knowing what to do and then after like a few seconds calms down and starts swirling and swirling and swirling again at that Ning runs outside opens opens the doors again the moon is now a full moon up in the sky, shining brighter than people had seen it in centuries. Runs back in and is like, this is it, Kavik, try again. Kavik like doesn't really know what to do. Like they're, you don't just touch a spirit without consequences. Um, but they they do it anyways, just because they, they're so sure that it won't work. And a wave literally the size of a half a mountain comes in, crashes against the mill, it starts creaking and moving. And as soon as the flow starts making it turn, it just won't stop anymore. And waves and waves and waves of water come crashing down on it. And Ning is ecstatic. It's working! I told you this would work! 
A full moon. A constant full moon. Look at, look at them. They're the strongest waterbender anyone has ever seen. Imagine your entire people with this power working on my water mills, producing electricity for everyone else. The songs are clapping in the background, like, yes. I, I turn to the closest waterbender from the Northern tribe uh, and go, did, did he just attack one of the spirits to get his machine working? The waterbender is crying. Like, like, full tears, sobbing. I, uh, I can't be here for this. Runs off. I, I think I see Flint do that and I'm, I just start talking, being like, if we, we can't just abuse the, the moon spirit every time we need to use the mill if they're meant to be used all, what? Question. Was what happened here during that Fire Nation attack known? That um, something happened to the moon spirit and then a giant spirit came and destroyed the, uh, the, the fire ship. Was that known? Yeah. Uh, I bring that up immediately. It's like, <laughs> question, wasn't it last time that someone messed with the moon spirit really bad for that person? And also As for you say the entire that. city? Arnuk, the chief, whose daughter gave herself up for the life and the survival of the moon spirit, goes into a rage like you have never seen anyone go into. The, the veins are popping. He's grabbing his weapons. And the idea that someone has touched his daughter again truly sends him going and he's going to start sprinting towards Ning and the mill. I go him on. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd leg it forward because I'm like this is my problem if, I, if there's if people are fighting I'm there. <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'm all for it. Yeah I think I've turned the race the bracelet into like a block of of, uh, of Earth. Just like at, at the ready in my hand. Cool. In that case, if everyone is fighting and choosing to fight, we're going to do a combat exchange and I'm going to not break this mug. <laughs> we're going to do a combat exchange. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I wasn't going to, but that dude touched the moon spirit. That crossed the line. That's. <laughs> Bo knows nothing but knew that that was messed up. Mm hmm. Yep. So, the way the fight is happening, it's you three. You've got Kavik, who's currently stuck dealing water onto this mill. Mm. Uh, Uji, who is now stressed because she's never seen her sibling like struggle to control their water building. They're usually really poised and disciplined. Uh, you have Arnuk who's st charging straight ahead, um, ready to literally destroy Ning. Um, and the songs are elderly people, um, but they are there and they are mostly being protected by a whole guard of, again, like a dozen soldiers. The way this works is I'm going to choose something without telling you for all of my NPCs to do. Whilst I'm doing that, discuss amongst yourselves what you're each doing. The way this works is all of the NPCs have fatigue and conditions and like a balance track as well. Things that will get rid of NPCs is bringing their fatigue up to full, uh, making them lose their balance, so pushing them off the track and um, the final thing is, oh, conditions. Getting all of the conditions at once will take them out of the fight as well. The important thing to know about the soldiers of the Song family 
is that apart from Kim, who has her own stat blog, all of them act as a group. They're a unit. And so they have group moves and you attack them as a group. But the way I've done it is I've basically given, given them an amount of fatigue that is the amount of people there and as each fatigue will mean getting rid of one of them. That's, I think that's all of the parameters of this fight. So I'm gonna go choose some moves, discuss amongst yourselves to do some moves and then we'll roll some dice and then we'll resolve the exchange. Ah! Cool? Mm -hmm. So the two who aren't engaging in combat are you and your parents actually who are using their turn to give out orders to the soldiers. Great. Cool. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I just roll for plead? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's a 12. <gasps> <laughs> right what I'm at. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and with Harmony I get a plus two. So I'm so 14! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Okay. Tell me how it goes. Yeah, so I just turn to them and I'm like, stand down, like call off your, the guard. Like, I want to be like, we all heard Ning up there say that he got the mill to work effectively with earthbending. So I know that this is even more, that we could do this within the Earth Kingdom and that you just want to expand and destroy the Northern Water Tribe. Um, ah! <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, see reason. Like, please, please see reason and like stop this like destructive path that we're on. We don't need, we don't need this. The family can, has enough money and power and status without this. So your parents aren't very good at showing emotion or communicating effectively and that has been a problem for you in your entire lifetime and the heaviness of expectation that comes with such wealth is something that you know well and that as someone who spent a bit of time away from that you know that that is mostly an excuse to be a crappy human being and um, your parents seeing you go against them with such, with such vigor in a way that you, you've never done that before. You've always kind of been on their side, um, either by duty or care, um, but you've always sided with them and this is the first thing that somehow you disagree on and the fact that you disagree even though it's Ning is something that does get through to them and you see as they're about to tell their soldiers to protect them they look around look at Kim who is the leader of this special insider guard for this mission um, and Kim kind of gestures to them with her head um, you would assume that some conversation has happened to get them to that decision but saying nothing your mother is going to look down and say, stand down. And for the duration of the fight, the soldiers are out of it. You are effectively <laughs> fighting one bad guy. <laughs> Sometimes it, it pays off to plead. <laughs> when you get a 12 at yeah. the most <laughs> crucial moment of the entire <laughs> campaign. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's now Ming against the world, really. Does anyone else want to do a defend and maneuver? No? Who is attacking and advancing? No? 
Okay, it, there's some advancing and attacking on the NPC's side. Um, I mean, firstly, I think Onuk, who's had uh, half a turn already to start <laughs> running, um, is going to jump and do something called Crushing Grip of the Seas, which is a throw. Uh, so it's it's a waterbending move. Um, Onuk does not do waterbending, but I have taken the liberty of replacing his waterbending with uh, just like weaponry, but using the waterbending moves because it made sense to me. Um, but yeah, so Crushing Grip of the Seas is officially throw a tendril of water that wraps around a foe's limb and holds it in place. Mark fatigue and inflict impaired on a foe. Mark an additional two fatigue to inflict trapped on that foe with a second tendril. What he's going to do is he's going to fully take three fatigue to do all of that on Ning, screaming, what have you done? In anger, like this is like fury. And um, to represent that, uh, I've given Onuk a condition already. So he's starting the fight with the angry condition. And this means that uh, basically he's got two whips, just a string, um, that go and grab, each grab one of the arms that, of Ning and crashes him on his knees, wraps his hand around uh, his back, and um, yeah, uh, it just means that trapped, just means that he's trapped. I was checking that again, but no, it just means that, and he basically like, like plunges his fist into the ground, locking the cords into place. So Ning is fully just already kind of fucked a little bit. <laughs> no one else is attacking. Okay, evade and observe. He's both of us. <laughs> I go for it. Uh, go ahead, I'll let you go first. Roll the five. Um, but... I can shift my balance away from centre to still use a basic technique. So I'm gonna shift my balance towards trust. Do I get to choose it? It has to be away from your centre. Yeah, but do I get to choose which direction? Away from your centre. Wherever your centre is, the other way. Unless you're at centre, in which case... I was at centre, yeah, sorry, that's why I was... Yeah, 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 so yeah, you, you just... Yeah, cool. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna bolster Kavik in their attempt to sort out everything. How are you doing that? Um, my well, my special specialty is movement like based stuff. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of movement going on, and also it's, it's big full moon time. I'm super powerful. I'm just gonna try and. Send the water like straight up out of the mill, so it's just above us instead in a giant puddle in the sky. Cool. <laughs> that is what I want to attempt. Yeah, that works. Uh, at this, you see Kavik finally like dropping the stance that they've been unable to control this entire time um, because of the exhaustion that comes from this. I've given them three fatigue and the desperate condition because they truly have lost all footing and they will not be able to go this turn, but they are now freed from the impairment. Oh, also, if you had fatigue, you clear it by choosing evade. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I've got no fatigue left. Um, and that's a 13. That's 11 plus two. Um, <laughs> I, I was going to do, it, it changes a little bit because people have, half of the people that I was expecting to fight are not fighting. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, am going- I mean, you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going with my thick mud ability, uh -huh. which is I transform the earth and stone around you into sticky sucking mud. Any foes engage with you and acting against you in this exchange become stuck and impaired. Um, so I'm fully just like, my hand's like slapping the ground and as I do like my fingers dig into the, the soil and I twist my hands and you see this kind of like shock, almost like ripple as if the uh, earth was becoming water uh, and where under, oh god, Li, Li, Ling? 
Ning. 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 Uh, is just becomes like a swampy mud that begins to sink him down up to his neck. <laughs> Incredible. So he's already Ning trapped. <laughs> double impaired. Or yeah. like d- doubly double yeah. trapped. I, 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 don't, I don't want him because um, he needs to do something if he wants to get out of this, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he, he he's... He, yeah, he needs to take one fatigue uh, or minus two to any physical actions. So. Because you're you're actively doing another impairment on top of the impairment that's already happened, I'm going to inflict another condition on him. Um, because of the way this has gone and because of the chat that you had earlier in his quarters, I he started the, the fight with a condition, the manic condition. Um, and he is uh, now going to be afraid as well. Cool. Uh, the final thing of this turn is uh, Uji, Kavik's sister, uh, is going to do a refresh, which is apply water to reinvigorate and close wounds on a willing target. Mark fatigue to heal an ally in reach who is evading and observing, which is what Kavik was doing. Clear an appropriate status from them and clear three fatigue or two conditions. Um, this is extremely strong. <laughs> when I read this in the rulebook, I was like, this is OP. <laughs> but also, I've given her nothing else. <laughs> so uh, it's super convenient. It means that Kavik is like back on track. She just does uh, Northern Water Tribe type healing um, on them. Cure wounds. And yeah, if you're full. Mass healing word at this point. <laughs> 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 and uh, gets rid of all of the fatigue and uh, gets rid of the condition. Kavik is back on track and doing well. We've done one turn. All of my enemies are down. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely don't have to do another turn <laughs> after this. Um, but yeah, basically everyone is kind of out of the fight pretty quickly as Ning gets overpowered and the god isn't there to protect him. Um, what do you guys, what do you want to do? I guess I rush over to uh, Kavik and, and their sister and just go, I'd recommend undoing whatever Ling just did. Uh, and I like gesture to the, to the pond. Oh, you're right, you're right. Um, Kavik is going to like go into the pond, but this device is like, imagine like a mechanical claw wrapped around and it uh, it's like sending small jolts of like electricity. And it feels like it's got like pricks going into the fish and it looks like it can be disarmed, but you don't know how to disarm it. And Kavik doesn't know how to disarm it specifically. I, I, I look at Flint and say, I think we need to talk to oh, Ning. I walk over very angry towards Ling. Fully crouched down right in front of his face and just turn it off. I don't answer to you. Uh, I get to strike anyone that's stuck in my mud. <laughs> I'm going to smack him in the face. Just Sure. Yeah. Uh, punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's, so I, was it mark two fatigue, <laughs> uh, or a Wait, condition, or no, shift their balance? <laughs> I'm gonna just walk right close and just full on just. <laughs> <laughs> Can I um, like get close to and also and that giant puddle of water? Just have it swirling around <laughs> us so that it just, <laughs> just threateningly, <laughs> just swirling. Yes. I will let you do this. <laughs> um, there's like droplets coming off of the side as well of this like huge sort of water cloud above everyone. And this I think Ning is like genuinely like would rather not die on this hill today and um, is basically like it just it just needs my uh, it just needs my fingerprint stuck in fully stuck in mud and like hands in the bag. Mm-hmm. Um. I'll, 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 I'll be happy to roll intimidation for this, uh, but I'll essentially say, you try anything funny, the hand is coming with me, not you. 
uh, as I like, fl like push down the mud, and it, he just feels the rock like hardening again and yeah. like tightening against himself. And then yeah. I'll make it into mud again and slowly lift him up. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll intimidation. Please be good, because <laughs> <laughs> this will not be the moment. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's a 11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, wait, I feel like... It's passion. Passion is plus one, so that's a 12. Wonderful. Uh, Ning is really having the worst day of his entire life. He's worked <laughs> for this project for the last, like probably 15 years doing all the maths and like dealing with how the spirits would work he had a lot of of research that he did on how the spirits functioned and like how to build his mechanism so that the spirit would uh like not reject it immediately and continue doing its spirit things um this is like his entire life being reduced to him in mud getting owned by a bunch of, of of like low lives essentially like in his mind you were nothing and now suddenly you're between he, him and his success and his like the, the the progress of science that's how he sees it right now but he's actually having you having seen you do this like earthbending um He's so afraid of you right now that he starts crying a little bit and just <laughs> without, you know, without even trying anything funny, just puts his hand out. Yeah. Yeah, just full crazy eyes, just. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Watching very carefully to make sure what he's doing and what's right. Cause... He's, he walks uh, towards the the pond and grabs the fish fully pulls it out of the water the fish is like squiggling like fish do um presses his fingertip on the little device it unclips he removes it puts the fish back in the water there's a little bit of blood trickling from where the fish was do fish bleed i'm gonna say fish bleed yes they yeah do. Um, they do there we go uh, there's a little bit of blood trickling out of where the pricks were going into the flesh um, but very quickly within this magical water and the spiritual place it all gets healed up and the fish start walking around uh, walking swimming swimming again for some reason <laughs> I don't know why. swimming Just around one full another. on jaunting don't and <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, you look outside as the night grows a lot dimmer and the moon goes back like shrinks back to its regular size and it's in normal phase in its normal phase as well Ning is like defeated slumps to the floor and kind of like looks down Chen I think like walks up in line with with Flint as like a show of solidarity um I don't think he has anything to say yeah to Ning I don't know cool I think uh, seeing that everything has been resolved and the fish has been saved and the spirit that was once again, uh, with, like whose power was once again uh, abused, uh, Arnok feels like he doesn't deserve the role of chief anymore because this is the second time that he's failed to protect his people and um, kind of getting rid of his tears and coming to this realization he goes up to Ning and says, I do not want to be the one deciding of your fate, so I will send you home in shame. But know that you or your family will never be welcome in the Northern Water Tribe. And uh, at that, he gestures to like a couple of his guards who come and pick Ning up and start dragging him all the way back down to the ships. Can I just take my puddle and just soak his clothes as he goes so that he's cold as well? Yes. <laughs> just make him walk yes. past the, <laughs> past the w wall of water as he walks by. <laughs> no, I don't want the guards to get here. I'll go around the guards and then just... <laughs> just... <laughs> um, 
I will love to just destroy this machine and let it wash down river into the sea. Mm -hmm. Just full on. I was like, your chiefness, if you allow me. And I like just like grab a hand where the machine like connects to the, the rock yep. and just shards of earth just like <laughs> pop by destroying bits and then like all goes back down nice and neat and they just watch it go down with like ah, nice <laughs> told you my vandalism skills would come in handy <laughs> can I uh, once uh, Ning is out of sight I'm just gonna uh, turn to Chen and, and, and give him a hug just be like you okay <laughs> I like give Bo a quick hug back and then like walk back towards my parents. I'm assuming like as they're like leaving. Um, and can I roll intimidate? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did good. We did good last time. <laughs> oh, that's a six with my minus one. Um, can I help? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy for both of you to help. <laughs> oh, after that display, I'm giving them a glare. <laughs> like, <laughs> lingering, lingering, th like, threatening vibes. Just glaring them down as they walk by. <laughs> At this point, they fully lost the solidarity of the soldiers, who, as soon as they were told to step down, were very happy to not interfere with this anymore. And Kim has been... Uh, walking them out and like following the walk of shame that Ning is having all the way down to the boats. Okay, yeah, I think I just turn to them and say, Anuk might have shown Ning and our family mercy in this moment, but I will make sure that every single one of those devices are destroyed and that. Everybody across the Earth Kingdom knows what has happened here today. And so it never happens again. This is the first time that you see your father, the, this figure of authority, the man who's made it, the, the, the one who grew up with nothing and then created everything for himself. He's that level of grandeur. This is the first time that next to you he feels small and as you say this he takes a breath looks at you and says I guess this is goodbye then turns around grabs your mother starts walking down I think I let them leave and I walk the other direction towards Bo and Flint Oh, I was stood like right behind you. That's how I held. Just, like, <laughs> I turned, turned yeah, right yeah, around. You turn around. <laughs> yeah, you, you turn around. Bo is there, arms crossed. Flint is just. <laughs> I don't think I break down immediately, but I definitely like lean on on Bo yeah. for support. Yeah. I think you. Guys, I'm really, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll I talk to Kim. We'll talk to Kim. We'll get in there. So, don't worry, Chen. It's plenty of fish in the sea. And, like gestures, <laughs> <laughs> gesture to Kavik, who's like hugging their sister still. <laughs> like, can't quite believe what's just happened today. <laughs> Incredible. Um, if people want to, we can have like a, just a short epilogue sequence, so everyone kind of leaves on a happy note. But that's up to you. I'm down. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, it's been a few days here uh, at the Northern Water Tribe. I'm assuming all of you kind of stayed behind to help um, deal with the damage within the Spirit Oasis. And then um, there were not riots, like full blown riots, but there were definitely people in the streets being very unhappy and throwing things at Ning as he was walking down. And uh, yeah, you can tell that like something's shifted here and as much as the Northern Water Tribe wants to um, invite the outsiders in and have a bigger place um, on the global stage, this was not the way to do it. And they will forever be thankful to 
you for showing them the way and showing them that not every person has good intentions. And um, yeah, there's elections are going to come up to elect the new chief. And uh, obviously, Kavik has thrown their name in the in the hat, but it probably won't happen. There's people who've actually been I here will. the last like decade. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will full on, absolutely rig this election. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! Nothing. <laughs> I thought Listen. you were going to say start rumors that Kavik's great. <laughs> no, that too. That too. I will do like I will do campaigning. I'll start rumors that like of of how much they helped in this in this fight. And then I will full on try to rig the election no. too. No. Because I... you say you've learned nothing, but literally I've done nothing but trespass and vandalize <laughs> and that's led to the happy ending so he's learned that his bad behavior rewards everything <laughs> Great. Uh, do so we know you're doing this <laughs> oh I'm, a, I'm assuming i would have told you at some point it's like oh you have not gonna believe what i'm doing gonna, today. okay 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 <laughs> rumors fine we only do bad things to bad people so if there's like a candidate who's a terrible person, just sabotage them. You don't need to rig the election. How about that? that and that that's counts, more fun. That that counts as rigging the election. You do realize. That, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't live oh, here. Oh, I've taught you so well. Yeah, yeah that's what can't it. have anything to do with their election. <laughs> yeah, we've oh, got to I'm leave. A, Flint, I think we need to leave. <laughs> oh, you, I am a great influence. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> this is great. I don't know what you're. What's, what's the what's the problem? I think I think we we I assume the election isn't three days after or whatever. So so I I just try to get Flint out of the city before <laughs> too much damage is yeah. done. Uh, hey, listen, I I promised my younger siblings that I was going to overthrow a government, and I did. <laughs> so <laughs> I full on I full on said it was going to happen, and here we go, man on my word. <laughs> Uh, wherever you guys want to be for this like final bit is up to you and I'll let you decide uh, what you want to happen for this like end of campaign moment where you've uh, you've succeeded you've beat the bad guy I think I need to talk to Chen because mm-hmm. we need to figure out what we're doing because you need to go to the earth kingdom but I need to go to the swamp Oh, well, we can be pen pals, and I can visit the swamp all the time, and you can come to us and say... What if, what if, mm-hmm. we go to the swamp, both of us, we tell my parents I'm alive, still, everything's fine, no more wanted posters, and then we both go to Ba Sing Se? I think I can find us an escort to the swamp, because you've protected me a lot on this journey but you need protecting too i think kavik would be happy to do that oh <laughs> i think kavik just got reunited with their sister i don't know whether they want to immediately go on another long trip and personally it's- just 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 to you Bo. yeah i don't think i'm ready to jump into something okay. very quickly well <laughs> when you want to come back i'll come with you also, I'm sure that there are swat hot swamp people. I don't want to limit myself, you know? <laughs> wow, so much for not being ready. <laughs> It'll take a while to get to the swamps. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. We all heal in different ways. <laughs> Maybe I've like probably like written a letter to Ning to like send with Kim or something to just be like, Divorce papers? Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like <laughs> the, it's not, not me. It's you. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not me. It's it's, it's fully fully it's you. you. <laughs> we both saw what we saw. No, I think like it's going to be a lot gentler than I think my friends, if they had written the letter, would have chosen it to be. Um, but I'm like I have loved you and like there will be a part of me that always loves you and I even though you've done some very 
harmful and like deeply amoral things, I have hope that like one day we might be able to at least sit down and have a conversation. Um, yeah, but marriage wise, no marriage, no more marriage. <laughs> I have seen the world. I've seen what I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of, it's going to be a lot of me time, a lot of Chen time, a lot of healing. That healing is going to involve traveling. It's going to involve therapy, going to involve journaling, going to maybe involve smooching various swamp people. But that's stuff I don't include in the <laughs> <laughs> I I want to just like, I'll, I'll tell you that I'll pass the letter on to Kim and I'll just throw in a threatening note as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak in the envelope. <laughs> Love it. Just, I will mess you up if you come near <laughs> Chen. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> and Flint, uh, what have you been up to? Um, Flint will pretty much go back to like what his life was before. Um, like this was very much like the grand adventure that he was looking for. Um, so he'll get go back home um, to his family and with all the gossip, just <laughs> all like what he's done, how he's done it, uh, you know, the sabotaging, the breaking into the ship and like, re like I know you were there, but let's recount what, what <laughs> happened, um, like how I got there, um, like, you know, changing a government, uh, which again is what he promised to do. He asked them like, how far did you make into escape before they realized when they <laughs> were to release you? Like how many of you were out when they realized? Um, the whole gossip. Um, he'll go back to the air temple to, you know, um, tell uh, Heiwan how it went and tell her that sadly Kavik is back in the water temple now. Um, so they probably <laughs> won't be uh, coming back down anytime soon. Um, and again, like, spend. Really, from like loner in your village who didn't really speak to anyone, you've become the hero of the entire mountain. Like your tale of victory and bravery and mischief has traveled and yeah. everywhere you go people are like whispering be like oh my god like as if you were your beyonce yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've, I'm i'm fully embedding my legend there as basically the monkey king like mischief for good that's essentially what's been happening um and like i would probably spend most of my time back in the um like air temple um sneaking in my siblings to help until people realize that they were there and it's too late to get rid of them um yeah. much like i did so like more earthbenders have been going there to help them uh redo and like my older siblings who are much better are like constructive bending rather than destructive bending to help them fix walls and fix the the cracks that have been filled by machines um so they're like you know, they actually have people structurally sound and mentally sound uh, <laughs> to help to help them um and it's more like, you know, I've, I've obviously getting into trouble, obviously getting into mischief, um, but, you know, less of stealing for myself, but more like, oh, these people are being annoying? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Um, and, and that kind of mischief. Um, it's like, I've, 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 I've grown attached to that kind of, of chaos, like the, oh, chaos for improvement, rather chaos from destruction, I think. Mm. Very nice. Can I also bring Bo with me one day, like before we leave the Northern uh, Water Tribe, like to the edge of the water and like have them be beside me as I like rip up my picture of Ning and like <gasps> cast it into the water. Yes. It's the end, it's the end Oops. of an era. <laughs> it is, it is. Now you're gonna be, you're gonna be playing with all of these hot swamp people. <laughs> <laughs> At some Guild point free. in the future, I will get you like uh, a wallet that has spaces for multiple photos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I'll put your photo in there and Flint's photo in there. And when I see people, I say, these are my family. Have you seen them? They're so wonderful. <laughs> the yeah. photo of Kim and her wife. <laughs> yes! <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the in the Earth Kingdom, Chen is just absolutely third wheeling Kim and her wife. <laughs> Amazing. Is everyone happy with this? Very mm. happy. 
with that, we end the first Avatar Legends campaign for Blanket Fort. Woo! Uh, I've personally had an absolute blast making this campaign for you. It's been a, a, truly the happiest moments. It's been so, <laughs> it's made me really happy. Yeah, we will be coming back with more stories in uh, different, different systems, different places, different worlds. Um, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, uh, patreon.com slash blanketfortrpg or at blanketfortrpg everywhere, pretty much. On Patreon you'll find uh, early content, exclusive content, bonus content, all of the content uh, that your heart would desire. Uh, help us decide on the potentially the next system that we'll be playing in. Let us know what you thought of the campaign, how you think we could have made it any better, uh, because we'll always try to improve and make this as fun as possible for everyone. Thank you so much if you've actually made it this far and gotten to the end of this four episode series. The first one and not the final one. We <laughs> truly cannot wait to share with you what we have got planned for the foreseeable future. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>